the individual perspective. Now the Lord is eminently personal. When he, he has thousands and thousands and thousands of cows, millions of cows, and yet Krishna knows the names of every single cow. And if one cow goes away, Krishna calls her specifically by her name and gets her to come back. So like that, Krishna knows each one of us. There may be millions and billions and quadrillions and zillions, whatever word might be there. There might be souls in, the, in this world and the spiritual world. But Krishna knows everyone individually. Krishna has a personal and unique relationship with every soul. And he reciprocates with each soul by manifesting his attractiveness in an individual and distinctive way. So when we hear the pastimes of Jagannath, when we hear about his activities, now for some people, some aspect of Jagannath may be very attractive. In Ratyatra, there are Ratyatra itself is a festival, but within that there are many festivals. There is variety even within spirituality. So the festivals begin long before the main festival. The Snan Yatra is a festival that comes long before the main festival. The main festival is going to be the Rath Yatra. And there are devotees who may be attracted to a particular festival. Rath Yatra goes one way and then the Ultarat that comes back. Mostly we are not able to do the Ultarat, but that's also another festival. And the Lord as Jagannath, as Jagannath, he comes out of Jagannath temple, stays in Gundicha. There is the Gundicha margin, the cleaning of the temple is there before that. So, there are many, many different aspects of the Lord and his pastimes. So each of us, we need to find out which aspect of the Lord attracts our heart. This Rupa Goswami, in his second version of the Bhakti Samrit Sindhu, the Nectar of Devotion, is what Prabhupada called the Bhakti Rasam in his translation. So the advanced version of NOD, the next book, is Ujjwal Nilamani. And there he elaborates on this term called Uddipan. Uddipan is spiritual stimulus. Just like the people have sensory stimuli. Like for an alcoholic, as soon as they see a bottle, then Sarva Dharma and Prithich. <laughs> I just forget everything. I just have to drink. <laughs> so that's a trigger. Now that is a trigger that a person needs to stay away from. Because sensory stimuli, they are such that, that you know, now another person who is not an alcoholic may not be so agitated by that. So the, just as the sensory stimuli for each person are different. So now the sensory stimuli we need to keep away from. So that we don't get deluded. But so just as sensory, sensory stimuli are individual, similarly there are spiritual stimuli that are individual. Each one of us may find a particular manifestation of the Lord attractive. So we may find, for example, that one particular song or even one particular line in one song, we may like that. And yeah, it's good to memorize the entire song, but we could just recite one line. Jai Gaura Sei Krishna Sei Jagannath. Jagannath Swami Nayanapatagami Bhavadume. One line of one song can be our spiritual stimuli, can be our Uddipan. So when we recite that, when we remember that, we, our thoughts start rushing towards the Lord. Our thoughts become immersed in the Lord. So, the spiritual stimuli, keep them close. Not keep them far away, but keep them as close as possible. Always. So, when we do this, then it will be easier and easier for us to remember Krishna. So, when we individually take responsibility to find out which aspect of the Lord attracts us, which particular festival, which particular deity dressing, which particular kirtan, which particular song, then we are taking responsibility for our spiritual growth. And then that particular stimuli will some, be something that nourishes us. 
when we are exposed to that stimuli, we will feel strength coming in our life. We will feel nourished just like when we eat food, we feel nourished. Not only will we nourish it, will it nourish us, but we will also relish it. Relish means, nourishment is okay when we eat some good food. I feel content. But relish is beyond contentment. It is excitement. It is ecstasy. We will relish this stimuli. Bodhayantaha parasparam kathayantasya maam nityam tushyanti. Tushyanti is when we are nourishing it. But tushyanti cha ramanti cha. Ramanti is where we are relishing it. So the uddipan is, is what nourishes us and uddipan is what we also relish. And the key is that we need to cherish that uddipan. Cherish means treasure it. Just like if we have some fond memories. You know, we keep them carefully on our phone. We upload them on some drive. We may take printouts and keep them in an album. So, those are our fond memories. So, for each one of us, we have some spiritual stimuli, some uddipan. When we cherish them, that's when we will find that we have strength always. We have joy always. Or at least we have access to strength and joy. And that's how our bhakti can become stabler. Life will always be filled with ups and downs. And those will challenge our faith, those will challenge our devotional commitments. But if we have our individual stimuli, our uddipan, then those uddipan can keep us strong and steady in our bhakti. And that is what we can pray to Jagannath. When you say, Jagannath Swami Nayanapathagami Bhavad Tume, the song at one level seems strange. Because we are per singing that song in front of Jagannath. Isn't it? Jagannath Swami, please manifest before me. He is already manifesting before us. Then why are we saying it? But the song is something more specific. Jagannath Swami, Nayana Pathagami Bhavattume. As manifest not just in front of my eyes, but manifest on the path of my eyes. What that means is, our eyes often go on the path toward the sense objects. You know, our eyes just, just are wandering. Indriyanamicharatam. Like that. But all, whenever our senses get distracted, our eyes are the primary senses that put us into illusion. So, on the path on which the eyes go, there will be sense objects. But instead, may the Lord manifest over there. So that prayer is not just it is sung in front of the Lord when he is manifest. But what we, the prayer is for is that the Lord manifests constantly in the path of our eyes. That <coughs> in one sense means that we find our uddipan, our spiritual stimuli and make them accessible. Make sure that we have them with us so that they can manifest in front of our eyes and within our minds and hearts. And thereby we can be immersed in the remembrance of the Lord. We can never be immersed to the degree that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, but we can be immersed following in his footsteps. And even if we can get a drop of his immersion, we'll find that there is extraordinary joy and ecstasy waiting for us in our personal relationship with Krishna.